Yo, what is up guys? It's your boy Kevy here back at it with another video. Welcome back to my channel. And today we have another humongous trading video. I have not done one of these in a very, very long time. But the other day I traded for the Midnight Blue Sparkle Time Fedora and I thought I might as well make a video on this because you guys absolutely love seeing humongous trades on this channel. So yeah, I'm going to be doing a video on what I gave for the Midnight Blue Sparkle Time Fedora. So if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a big thumbs up, subscribe, comment down below your favorite Sparkle Time Fedora, and turn on post notifications so you never miss my next video. Also, I'm going to have my Discord server linked in the description down below and pinned in the comments if you guys want to join. I'll be hosting events in there talking to you guys. But alright guys, the Midnight Blue Sparkle Time Fedora. This has to be probably my second most favorite Sparkle Time Fedora behind the green Sparkle Time Fedora. I just love blue as a color and Midnight Blue just looks absolutely insane. Also not to mention, there's nostalgic value to it as well. According to the Roblox Wiki, the Midnight Blue Sparkle Time Fedora came out on sale on June 21st, 2013 during a midnight sale and it was originally 50,000 Robux. They say 50,000 copies, that's like a typo. It's 100 copies, 50,000 Robux. And I still remember as a kid, midnight sale was a humongous deal because it was during the summer and during the summer was like one of the only times I could stay up past 12 so I could actually make this sale. But I remember getting a lot of items during that sale but I missed the Midnight Blue Sparkle Time Fedora coming out and waking up in the morning. I saw it on the catalog and I was like, holy moly, this hat is absolutely insane. But alright guys, now I'm going to show everything that I gave for this fedora and the reasons on why I gave those items. So here's my trades page right here. If you go into my completed trades, this is where the trade is. I actually had to give six items to make this trade balance because I couldn't afford all of it into one trade. So I gave six separate items and I got the Midnight Blue Sparkle Time Fedora. Starting off, I gave the Void Star and WC Ultimate Periodic Panic 300k wrap and he threw in a harmonica when this trade as well. So it was these two items for the harmonica and then after this is the Midnight Blue Sparkle Time Fedora trade. Which is I gave Dominus Vespertilio, Clockwork Shades, the Void Star, and Sparkle Time Valkyrie 1.4 million wrap for the Midnight Blue Sparkle Time Fedora 1 million wrap. Alright, so you guys are probably wondering like what are the value of all these items. We're going to go ahead and hop into the Rallymon's trade calculator. I'm going to calculate everything for you guys and give the reasons on why I gave all these items for the Midnight Blue Sparkle Time Fedora. Alright, so we are in the Raleigh Mons trade calculator now. Let's start with Sparkle Time Valkyrie, 700,000 value so far. And then I also had to give two Void Stars. I gave a pair of Clockwork Shades. And then I gave a Dominus Vespertilio. And then to end it off, I gave the WC ultimate periodic panic which is 60k value okay so to start it off 700,000 value for sparkle time valkyrie 320,000 each for the void stars and then clock rich 450,000 dominus vespertilia 450,000 and then this wc ultimate was 60,000 value which reaches a grand total of 2.3 million value and then in return i received the transient harmonica 100,000 value and then the Midnight Blue Sparkle Time Fedora, which is 2.2 million value. So this was the equal trade right here, 2.3 million for 2.3 million. I did an upgrade and I got the Midnight Blue Sparkle Time Fedora. In my opinion, this is a really, really good trade and here's why. Recently, I've seen Sparkle Time Valkyrie struggling to get good deals. I don't know if it's just like slowing down in his hype. The voice stars are pretty good, but they have a tendency to fluctuate after they reach a peak value. So I just, and I had three, so I traded two of them off. Clockwork Chase was unstable. Dominus Vespertilio, I think, was doing pretty good as well. And then these headphones were pretty stable. So I feel like this was a good deal because Midnight Blue Sparkle Time Fedora has been doing really, really good. It's been getting really good deals because a lot of people have been trying to upgrade into it. So giving these items for it was a pretty good trade in my own opinion. And I really like this harmonica because it makes noises and I can annoy people in game. Those are basically my reasons of why I gave what I did for the Midnight Blue Sparkle Time Fedora. 
again super amazing item i absolutely love this hat but yeah guys that's what i gave for the midnight blue sparkle time fedora if anyone was curious if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to leave a big thumbs up subscribe make sure you guys comment down below your favorite sparkle time fedora and turn on post notifications so you never miss my next video also as i said if you want to join my discord server i'm going to be talking to you guys in there hosting events it's going to be linked in the description and pinned in the comments down below thank you guys so much for watching have a good day as always kevy out